From an undisclosed location somewhere in North America, this is your weekly Truth Be Told Minuteman Report. Bridget Ellen Biddy Connors was born in 1798 in County Clare, Ireland. Choosing to go by her mother's maiden name, Biddy Early of Kilbarren, was a traditional Irish herbalist known for helping her neighbors, against the wishes of the local tenant farmer landlords and the Catholic priests, who would later accuse her of witchcraft. Biddy was a quiet, solitary girl who was known for talking with the fairies. She learned the recipes for traditional Irish cures from her mother, who was well known for her exceptional herbal remedies. After her mother and father had died, unable to pay the rent, 16-year-old Biddy left her family home. At the age of 18, living in a poorhouse near Limerick, Biddy met her first husband, Pat Malley of Fecal. Although he was twice her age and had an adult son, and she had no dowry, they were wed and lived in a three-room cottage where she gave birth to her only child, her son Patty. This was also where she began to earn a reputation for her herbal cures. While Biddy never asked for money, her clients would often pay her with whiskey or poteen, Irish moonshine. Her home soon became known as a place to drink and play cards. When Patty Malley died, leaving her a widow at the age of 25, she married her stepson, John. Her own son, Patty, left home and never returned. John would die of a liver ailment, leaving her a widow again at the age of 42. Her third marriage was to Tom Flannery a man younger than she, a laborer from Quinn in County Clare. They moved into a two-room cottage in Kilbarren at the edge of a lake, which would become known as Biddy Early's Lake. Her fame peaked during this time. Biddy was insightful, intuitive. She did not only address people's needs with her herbal cures, she was often sought out to treat sick animals or just to assist with problems related to the daily life of a tenant farmer. At some point, she acquired a blue glass bottle filled with a dark liquid. It was always with her. Biddy would look into the bottle while considering possible treatments for her clients. Aside from her talent with herbs and her magic blue bottle, Biddy was famous for her strong personality. She was willfully independent and refused to be browbeaten by the priests and the landlords' authoritarian ways. The Catholic Church held authority over the lives of the people at this time, and the priests did not approve of Biddy's activities. However, she always encouraged people to listen to their priest. Many believe the priests saw Biddy as taking offerings away from the church's coffers, and in 1865, the church accused her of witchcraft under the Witchcraft Act of 1586. She was taken to the court in Ennis, where no one would testify against her. She was released for lack of evidence. Tom Flannery died in 1868, leaving Biddy widowed again at the age of 70. However, she would marry a fourth time to a young man named Thomas Meany. They lived together in the Kilbarren cottage for a year before he died of alcohol consumption. And Biddy would die five years later in her cottage by her lake in poverty. A priest was present and he is said to have taken Biddy's magic blue bottle and thrown it into the lake. Her friend and neighbor, Pat Lofnane, arranged for her to be buried in the fecal graveyard in County Clare. The last generation to have known someone who had personal contact with Biddy Early ended in the 1950s. As recently as the 1990s, archaeologists were searching Kilbarren Lake in hopes of finding Biddy Early's magic blue bottle. It has never been found. This has been your weekly Truth Be Told Minuteman report. Thank you for listening. If you have a hot tip or a story suggestion, email us. We'd love to hear from you. Send your emails to reportminuteman at gmail.com. Again, that is reportminuteman at gmail.com. And be sure to tune in every Friday at 3 p.m. Pacific for a live new episode of Truth Be Told, hosted by Tony Sweet on UBNGo.com.